Expansion planning is a key factor in the transition to fully sustainable power systems. My name is Helma Maria Trentem, and this is a quick overview of the methodology applied in the paper 100% Sustainable Electricity in the Fair Islands Expansion Planning Through Economic Optimization. The first step in the applied methodology is to define the study case. In this case, the Faroe Islands, which are aiming for a 100% sustainable electricity sector by 2030. This information is used as input to Balmorel, which is an economical optimization tool used for expansion planning. From Balmorel, we obtain the annually optimal investments at each investment site. In order to obtain a realistic roadmap, we identified a need to translate the annual results into actual investment projects. The roadmap itself is therefore not optimal, but based on an optimization. However, we ensured that the proposed roadmap was close to the optimal solution by doing a second run in Balmorel using the roadmap as committed capacities. The optimality of the roadmap was validated by comparing the economics of the roadmap to the optimal solution. Now let's take a closer look at each step. The system model consists of the transmission system, generation and storage capacities, including information about emissions, costs, current and future demand. The map shows every investment option considered, the maximum capacities, the local resource potential and costs for each site are required. Two policy constraints were considered, one of which was a restriction on the CO2 emissions, while the other limits the maximum allowed instantaneous inverter-based generation. Almorel optimizes the dispatch on each unit in each connection hourly, while the investments in generation capacities and transmission capacities are optimized annually. The dispatch and the investments are optimized simultaneously. From Palmorel, we can see the site-specific investments in generation, storage, and transmission. The graph shows the accumulated optimal generation capacities in one of the tested scenarios. While this gives a good indication of the capacity needed, there is a disadvantage that the capacity at a specific site can increase year by year, since it's an optimization. In order to obtain a realistic roadmap, we investigated the investment at each site individually. The example shown is a wind farm. The four main factors considered were that the investments should re represent realistic plant sizes. Similarly, the investments in cables should reflect the cables used in the transmission system. And since each investment has a large impact on the system, we had to consider the operational experience required so that the system operators have a chance to adapt to the new system. And finally, some practical considerations were made. The example shows how the optimal capacity increases year by year until it reaches a full capacity of 36 megawatts. In the roadmap, the investment is done in house as 36 in one single wind farm in one step is being considered too much at this early age, and that conducting the investment in health is in good correspondence with the optimal results. The main output of the study is the roadmap. The roadmap specifies each investment in wind farms, cables, storage, etc. The location of each investment is also known from the optimization as shown through the following animations. The final step of the applied methodology is the validation. Two parameters are considered in this validation. 
The first one is that the economics of the roadmap should be close to the optimal solution. And second, we have the criterion of a 100% sustainable electricity production in 2030. The applied method resulted in a realistic and hands-on solution. This method can easily be applied to other systems, especially small systems where it's easy to map out every relevant investment. Thank you for your attention and feel free to read the paper for further details.